Buenos Aires is the beautiful capital city of Argentina. Here you can find lots of different and vibrant neighborhoods to explore and there is so much to do. Now I welcome you to join the journey exploring Buenos Aires together. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Yesterday we arrived to Buenos Aires in Argentina as me and my boyfriend Rol have just embarked on this big backpacking trip in South America. So our current plan is that we're going to be staying 10 nights here in Buenos Aires and we have three different accommodations that we're going to be staying in. Currently as our first accommodation we have this lovely hostel where we have a private room and here's a little tour of this hostel. Right now, our first plan of the day is to go for a bit of a walk around the area of our hostel. On our walk, we encountered this beautiful cathedral. This cathedral's history dates back to the 17th century and here you can find the tomb of San Martin, the liberator of Argentina. We also came across what's probably one of the most iconic landmarks in Buenos Aires, the obelisk. Did you know that this is actually located by the widest street in the world? We've now come back from our little walk around Buenos Aires. We ended up walking for longer than three hours, but we really enjoyed it. What's a bit weird about this city is that it feels like it has different elements that makes it feel like different cities I've visited before in my life. Like there was one area here where we were walking that reminded me a bit of Rotterdam and then some areas remind me a bit of Madrid, some others remind me a bit of Paris and yeah it feels a bit confusing in my head because I keep thinking like wait wait where am I? <laughs> because it keeps changing quite a lot. now arrived to this huge food market where they sell both like groceries and then there's a bunch of different food stands and well our plan is to find something fun to eat here but first let's walk around a bit and explore it and try to decide on what to have because there's probably a lot of options. decided to come to this burger place. I ordered myself a veggie burger and it looks really nice. Let's try it. Really good. Hello, this is editing Janneke. I just wanted to quickly pop in and talk a little bit about the whole money situation here in Argentina because it is definitely a bit of a confusing situation here right now when it comes to money. So do keep in mind when coming here, the Argentinian pesos is currently fluctuating a lot. There's a huge inflation and pretty much every single day the rate changes. And at the moment there are basically two different rates. So there is like the regular rate or there is something called 
called the blue rate or blue dollar rate. So if you are in possession of euros or dollars, that will be a good thing for you right now if visiting Argentina. But basically, if you take out money from an ATM, for example, or pay with a debit card, you're gonna be paying for the regular rate. And at the moment, the regular rate is, let's check with uh, euros, for example. So currently, 100 euros is worth 39,000 pesos. But basically, at the moment, you can exchange your money with the so-called blue rate. And you can do this either on the street and exchange cash, or you can go to Western Union. The rate right now is that we get about 90 something thousand pesos for 100 euros. So that is more than double than if we would be taking out money from an ATM or using our debit card. I'm not sure what the situation is if you have I don't know, the Japanese yen. I, I'm not sure, but I would check on the Western Union app how much you would get for your money, basically. I know in this video I'm mostly displaying prices in pesos, but keep in mind that if you Google the worth of the pesos, it's not actually what we are at the moment paying. It's a bit confusing, but something to keep in mind if you come to Argentina. I still had a bit of a sweet tooth, so I got this pistachio eclair. There's like some kind of pudding inside. Really, really good. Today we moved to our second accommodation here in Buenos Aires. And we moved actually to a hotel, which I think will be a rare treat during this trip and the reason why we are now staying at a hotel for the next two nights is because tomorrow is actually my birthday. Another reason why we also came to a hotel now is because I actually happen to have this hotel gift card that I got from my dad. So technically we're not even paying for this, which is very nice. So thank you, dad, if you're watching this. Today, otherwise, we haven't done super much. We had some nice lunch. And then we walked around for a little bit and we saw the Congress building, which was very impressive, I must say. And now since checking into the hotel, we've been freshening up a bit. I took a shower, we've relaxed for a little bit. And now soon we're gonna go out for another walk and for some dinner as well. dinner we came to this really nice looking restaurant a bit more fancy but I just googled for like a nice restaurant close by and I didn't look too much into it and only now when arriving we realized it's actually a Peruvian restaurant so fun to try some Peruvian food of course we need to have some Argentinian food as well soon someday but tonight we're having Peruvian and I don't mind got myself a fresh homemade lemonade and it's so good and we're clearly still eating in the North European time standards. It's at around 6.30 and we are the first customers of tonight, I think. Um, no locals are eating this early, so we have this whole terrace for ourselves. This is already progress for us because two nights ago we were asleep by now. So now we're having dinner by now. So the jet lag and acostumating to this time is getting better and better. slept really well so far every single morning we've been waking up around 4 a.m this was the first morning when we didn't wake up until 8 a.m so feels good and to start off the day rule has organized some little breakfast here for us in the room which is very nice of him i don't really know what today's plan is rule is the one who has planned it so let's see what today brings i'm excited
first activity for today, we have come to the National History Museum. At this museum, you get to learn about things like the Argentinian War of Independence and the May Revolution. And it was definitely a very interesting visit. We now came to a cafe and I ordered myself a brownie cookie. Rul has a chocolate banana cake. Then I have some iced tea and Rul has a homemade lemonade. Yeah, it's a bit of a rainy day today, unfortunately, but it's very cozy still, nevertheless. Let's try the cookie. Mm, that's so good. It's like almost crumbling in my hands when holding onto it. It's like so gooey and soft. Nice and fresh. Because of today's weather, we have to do a bit rainy day activities apparently. Our original plan was to have empanadas in the park, but not so nice to sit in the park when it's a thunderstorm. So now instead, we came to a modern art museum. my birthday dinner, Rul took me to this vegetarian restaurant and I really love the vibe of this place. This is just my kind of place. We just ordered our foods and yeah, I am excited to try it out. Got some complimentary entries. Good morning! Today is the next day and we are soon about to check out from this hotel room. It's been a really nice stay here. Soon we're going to our third and last accommodation here in Buenos Aires. But there we're gonna be staying for six nights. So then we don't need to move around as much as we have been doing now in the beginning of our trip. In our next accommodation we won't actually have a private room. All the accommodation in Buenos Aires was surprisingly expensive and the hostel we had for the first two nights was unfortunately already sold out. So now we're going somewhere where we will be staying in a dorm room, but in the photos it looked really nice though. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the next hostel will be like. We were able to drop off our luggage at the hostel and we still have some time before the check-in. So we now came to a park and we went via this little cute empanada shop. So we got some empanadas and now we're sitting in this lovely looking park and gonna have this for lunch while waiting for the check-in time. This one is with oregano and cheese. We've now checked into the hostel and we have dorm beds but they're pretty nice, like the beds are quite big. You have your own little curtain, you have your own little lamp and a shelf and our outlet and your locker and that kind of stuff. Seems like a really nice and clean hostel. I'll give you guys a little tour of the rest of the hostel as well. to do some more exploring. Something that I really love about Buenos Aires is that it's a very green city with lots of beautiful parks. We were also lucky because we were visiting just when the jacaranda trees were in full bloom. Mm -hmm. 
I really wanted to visit this rose garden that you can see behind me, but it looks like it's closed for some reason, even though it's supposed to be open. Let us in! Why is it closed? I don't get it. So annoying. to the Chinatown here in Buenos Aires. Today's first activity is that we're gonna visit a cemetery. I know it sounds maybe weird, but it's a very famous and popular thing to do here. The Recoleta Cemetery isn't just like any cemetery. Many call it the labyrinth of the city of the dead, which I can understand why. Here there is thousands of different crypts, tombs, coffins and statues. And the place definitely has a bit of an eerie feeling to it. A lot of famous people have been put to rest here. And one of the most famous ones is Eva Perón, who was a political figure and the first lady of Argentina. We've now come across some kind of market. Not sure what it is, but let's check it out. Got some kind of chocolate churro, I think. Extremely sweet. I think one is enough, but very, very good. Not sure if it's chocolate on the inside, actually. It's more like caramelly or something. Mm -hmm. Our next destination is that orange building over there. We have now come to the National Museum called Bella Artes and it was actually free to visit. So that's always a plus, especially if you're a backpacker on a budget like me. Tonight for dinner we are going to a traditional Argentinian restaurant. The Argentinian kitchen is very much influenced by the Italian kitchen, so hence the gnocchi. Oh, it's really good. Yum. We've come to a neighborhood known as Palermo, and this is supposed to be a neighborhood full of trendy restaurants and cute cafes and a bunch of little shops and that kind of stuff. So our plan is to now go and have some breakfast here first and then explore the neighborhood of Palermo a little bit. We came 
came to a bagel restaurant for breakfast and it smells so good here. This place just opened, so I think all the bagels have just been freshly made. I wish you could smell this through the camera. So good and such a cute looking place. Let's try the bagel. Looks good. Making a mess is really good. to this cinnamon roll place and oh my lord it looks so good let's try we got two different ones so this is the what did you say original or what classico. is it the el classico it's nice because it's a little bit like salty it melts in your mouth i think holy moly it's good mm. <laughs> yum so good like French toast. Next up, let's try the chocolate one. Very chocolatey. <laughs> it's really good. But I think I like the El Clasico even more. The chocolate one's good, but the El Clasico was better. We're thinking because we're close by the Rose Garden that we tried to go to a few days ago that if we should give it another shot and see if it would happen to be open today because I would really like to see it. It would only be a 25 minute walk from where we are now. So I think that's what we're gonna try and do next. The Rose Garden is open. I'm so happy. I was so disappointed a few days ago when it was closed and I could just see it from the distance that it looked so pretty and I really wanted to visit it. And oh, now it's open and the sun is shining. Life is good. in Palermo anymore we're now actually close by our hostel again and close to our hostel there's this really really famous and beautiful bookshop apparently I'm just standing in front of it right now It is pouring down rain, so for dinner tonight we decided to come to a place right across the street from our hostel and it's supposed to be very good. Super often when we've walked past this place it's been packed with people, so I think that's a good sign. We got a nice seat here by the window and let's hope the food will be good. is again a nice and non-rainy day and we've come to a neighborhood known as La Boca. I'm sorry it's a bit loud here we are right by a big stadium and there's a lot of people but yeah this neighborhood is a working class neighborhood apparently and it's known for being very vibrant and colorful and having a lot of steakhouses and street art and that kind of stuff. Apparently it gets a bit restless in the evening and nighttime, so it's recommended to visit in the daytime as we are doing now. And yeah, let's go and explore La Boca. 
In La Boca we mostly explore the famous area known as Caminito. It's a very popular and busy area, but definitely worth a visit when in Buenos Aires. came for some lunch. It's quite hectic here, there's a lot of people, but it seems like a very, very fun neighborhood. It is very touristic though, and what we noticed, like the restaurants do have a bit of a touristic price, but we found a restaurant that was a bit hidden. You had to go through a shop and up the stairs, but we have a really nice spot here outside on a terrace. Let's try my veggie burger. It's good, but it could maybe use like a sauce, like mayo or ketchup or something. I'm using my phone as a microphone because it's very loud here but for dinner tonight we came to a pizzeria and this pizzeria is famous for selling the Argentinian style pizza called uh, Fuca Seta. at least I think that's what it's called oh I think our pizza might be arriving right now but yeah that's that's what we're having for oh it came okay our pizza has just arrived let me show you guys here you can see our cheese and onion fugacetta. So it's like a pizza but super thick and with super much cheese I believe. And yeah, looks good. Let's dig in and see what it's like. I don't think I have ever seen so much cheese on a pizza. I think it was more cheese than it was pizza. It was good but also very heavy. And I'm glad that we decided to share a pizza because it was more than enough for the both of us. Today is our last day here in Buenos Aires. Tonight we are taking the night bus to our next destination. Today I don't think we're gonna do much to be honest. Um, we've already checked out from our hostel but luckily we are able to store our luggage here and still use like the common room and kitchen and stuff. We've just had some breakfast. I've really enjoyed exploring Buenos Aires. I really loved this city. I feel like it has a lot to offer. I also feel like it seems like the kind of city where it could be nice to live. No worries, I'm not planning on moving here, but just, I don't know, I could see it being a nice place where to live, if that makes sense. It seems like a very livable city. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful if you're maybe planning on coming to Buenos Aires. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!